Hello YouTube, today we're testing out the mind controlling effects of lasers on cats. So I got this cool idea for a video. So I've been watching a lot of builds on YouTube. One of these was this laser turret by Michael Reeves. In his tutorial it says something like, The most productive thing you're gonna do with this is shine a laser at your cats. Shine a laser at your cats. Shine a laser at your cats. Okay, okay, shine a laser at my cats. But I actually wanted to build something useful. So I found this video of a cat turning on the light. And I'm sure you know what that means. I gotta put my cats to work around this house. Let's fucking start this build. So it's been a couple of years since I touched any electronics and I forgot pretty much everything that I learned in college. So again, I had to start from the very basics. I mean, I had forgotten about Ohm's law. I even forgot which direction electricity flows in. Comment down below if you know the direction that electricity flows to. After my AliExpress electronics finally arrived, I wanted to start building something. So I had some code, I had my Raspberry Pi, I even had the servo motors. But apparently these are our C servo motors and they don't really fit the purpose. You see those 5 wires there? They're meant to connect to our C cards. Like how the hell should I know? I got totally scammed by these guys. And it's cheaper to buy new ones instead of fixing these ones. So to me these are basically trash. Then I decided to get some real cheap ones pretty fast. So I can finally start hacking something. And that was easy enough. I realized the motors were a bit jittery, but I managed to fix it by adding this nerd shit. But please don't ask me what this does. And since that was easy enough, I decided to do some 3D modeling. And I'm pretty much a noob at all of what I'm doing. But hey, I got something like a laser turret now. This part was always slipping out, so I went for a better design. It's really satisfying when it fits like a glove. I appreciate the company, but it was really challenging to keep working here, so I had to move down to the basement. I got my circuit, my Raspberry Pi, my camera for later, and this magnificent laser turret. So before doing any motion detection stuff, I wanted to see how the turret actually moves. So I wrote some code to control it with the mouse, and as you can see, the results are pretty good, it's actually a pretty smooth movement. And cherry on top of that is that my pets actually came in, which served as a good first experiment. Holy shit. Okay, I think this passes the first test. After a small success, I decided to start working on the motion detection stuff. I didn't know the slightest thing about it. But thankfully there are these ready-made tutorials, so I just copy-pasted the code, adjusted it a little bit, put it to work, and it crashed super hard. <sighs> I have to admit, I struggled with this in all sorts of ways. One problem was I couldn't see what's actually going on, so I tried multiple things like getting the pictures, but I ended up rewriting the program to work on my Mac, figure out the problem there, and get it running on the Raspberry Pi. Other things were also wrong, like the directions, the math in general, and I had to adjust the angles according to the field of view of the camera of the Raspberry Pi. I do this so that the angles of the turret actually match what the camera can see. After some struggle I got it working though. Now the math is not precise at all, but it kind of follows the movement and that's what I wanted to achieve. I don't need this to be very precise since I want to move the laser away from movement anyway. I'll show you why in a bit. And I've also managed to stream what the laser turret is seeing to my computer via the browser. This came in pretty handy later as well. Okay, so my plan is to get the laser pointing somewhat randomly away from movement and I need to get it somewhere where it's actually high in altitude. Now conveniently I have a Raspberry Pi up here with a camera already. Well, so I guess my next challenge is finding a way how to get the lasers up there. That should be fun. For that I kinda need to squeeze them in there somehow. Um, for measurements I'm gonna use this very precise tool right here. Even I have this very precise tool I have to eyeball it. Go in 7.8 centimeters. So here I'm designing the part that's supposed to fit in the ceiling section. The T-shape is there so that I have a little bit of wiggle room if it doesn't fit perfect. Alright! Okay guys, I think it's time to start the build. Not too shabby. 
check this out. Actually, it looks pretty fucking cool. If I didn't look like a mad scientist before, I think this should do it. I finished up connecting it with the Raspberry Pi. All that was missing was installing the software. That should be just a couple minutes, but... One eternity later... <sighs> software. Finally, everything fits together. Now I just needed to mount it and test it out. Let's appreciate this monstrosity for a second here. To my disappointment, my pets didn't want anything to do with the laser. They completely ignored it. I blamed it on the strength of it, so I thought it's time to bring out the big guns. All I needed was a bigger enclosure for a bigger laser, forcefully squeeze it in there, and attach it to the laser turret. This laser, by being bigger, is also much heavier, which now gives me all sorts of problems. So first, the station is much shakier now. This completely ruins the motion detection as it shakes up the pictures. It was also generally unstable, and the weight usually made the motors fall out of the turret. I sort of fixed all of the problems by slowing down the motion of the turret. I almost forgot to introduce the test subject. Gringo, Samantha, and Max. And now it's finally time for some successful havoc in the living room. No. One more thing I wanted to build was a nice user interface. And what could be better than a classic PA3 controller? So I had never done anything with this, but I was convinced it wasn't gonna be that hard. And after some experiments, I got a nice little thing working. I'm pretty sure this is the most familiar and intuitive interface I could get. Welcome to my automated light switch tutorial. For this, you're gonna need two big servos, one big laser, breadboard, cables, Raspberry Pi. And of course, a cat. You can get a cat pretty much anywhere for free. So let's get started. You know the drill. Again, there was some modeling, some printing, and this is how it looked. Nice. So I got a new feature that lets me record the movement of the laser. Let me try this out with a short example. Nice, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, now we can actually replay this. And it consistently produced the same effect. This is really nice. Okay, I got a good feeling about this. I think this will work. Just the light switch is a bit small, so I'll have to put some more engineering effort into that. So I made a couple recordings. A lot of recordings actually. There were so many close calls. And I thought it was gonna work much more consistently. But then it finally happened. Oh, he did it! He did it! He actually did it! Check this out. Ah, it's on. Ah. You never thought it was possible. Oh man, I didn't think it was possible either. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw it here first. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah, that thing works great. I use it basically on a daily basis now. Hey Gringo, can you turn on the lights for me? <laughs> Fuck yeah, every single time, first try! Man, this was a lot of fun to build. I actually bought a shit ton of electronics and there's a lot more dumb shit coming out of this channel, I promise. So yeah, please leave a like, please subscribe, please leave a comment and that's it, yeah, thanks, bye!